after all those April showers, you are going to need somewhere to plant all of our May flowers. And why not up here on the WCCO rooftop yep. with Carter Averback from Omform Design. Carter, thanks for coming in. Yeah, thank you. We love this mm -hmm. DIY project. Yeah. It's incredible to think that this was an old file cabinet. I want to show you the mm -hmm. uh, a picture of it. This is what wow. this uh, filing cabinet looked like before. And now you've made it into what I thought. I walked up and I thought it was part of our, our setup here. Where's yes. the project? It's, it's so perfect, doesn't it? It, doesn't. it does. So walk us through. How, how did it go from, I mean, kind of boring and useless yeah. to this? Well, one of the things that I do is uh, I always look to high-end like garden projects or something mm. like this as inspiration. And um, a lot of core 10 steel, which is this rusted steel, is used a lot in all of these high-end projects. And I think, how can I create the same look mm. with limited funds and sure. resources? So uh, metal file cabinets are a great way to do that. And this one is really simple. You can get it done in a day. Okay. So all you do, all I did really, is just turn it from uh, vertical it was to right horizontal. Side up. Yep, yeah. and drilled some holes at the bottom for drainage. And uh, just uh, for the ease of move maneuverability, I added some casters at the bottom so this thing can actually move around. Oh, nice. And just so people understand, like, this is the metal. Yeah, that's the metal of the file okay. cabinet. It looks like wood. It looks like kind of patinaed metal mm -hmm. or wood. Yes, like rusted yeah. uh, Corten steel, yeah, which is yeah. my inspiration. Did, how did how did it become like that? Because I, I, I didn't know <laughs> right. I was like, oh, well, it's wood. you, you uh, remove all the paint that used to be on the metal cabinet. Okay. And then um, a little trick that I use for raw raw steel is I add vinegar on it. I just oh, spray on vinegar. Really? Spray vinegar. And it will and it rust goes to it work? out immediately, like wow. within hours. Seriously, that fast? It's that not fast. a day long process or two days. Days, it just no. starts right away. Right awesome. away. And that's something yeah. that you could try, like that's safe to try and everything, just spray vinegar. on vinegar? Yes. Yeah. It's not wow. a chemical, so it's Great. easy for a lot of people. And then you attach this lid on top here, right? Yeah, These this are, is a little, a little seat lattice right here. effect on Yeah. Really beautiful. And then, is this just glued on, or how did. Yes. Oh, that's, oh Jason, yes. did you break it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's just put on right now. This is now. terrible work. Carter. We need no. more glue. More glue. You gave no, me a day to do this. That's, but that's how easy it is, right? That's it, Yes. Yeah. And then um, just so that it isn't too heavy to move around, mm -hmm. I added styrofoam in areas that we weren't going to put dirt. Okay. And then I put dirt in the other areas ah. and added your plants. Very smart. And the plants are beautiful, that too. That is a real problem. I think when people mm -hmm. use these very large decorative planters, if you fill the thing up with dirt, you then can't you're, move it. You can't move it. I've yeah. made the error. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so a little styrofoam, very good. And this then you have beautiful. drainage and it's all set. Yes. In, a, in about a day or less than a day, you can make these. And you can get uh, uh, containers like this, you know, old metal, you know, file mm -hmm. cabinets and all of that at thrift stores, oh, at garage yeah. sales, at junk Pretty shops. Pretty cheap, too. All of that, really cheap. I paid like $10 for this one. And now you could turn around and sell this for quite a bit more. If I wanted to, or I could just sit up here and use it all day. <laughs> I love that <laughs> idea. Exactly. Carter has so many ideas, different projects that he's done with his uh, business. Just go to WCCO.com slash links. You'll see more of Carter's designs at Ohm Form. Fantastic. Carter, thank you. What thank great you. ideas. Vinegar. Yeah. Who knew?